Hello guys, what is going on? And today we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master CM Storm Devastator Gaming Gear combo. In this review, we're not only going to be looking at the actual quality of this keyboard and mouse, we're also going to be looking at the value for money as well. So for starters, this keyboard will set you back £30, which in the UK here isn't a lot of money for a good keyboard and mouse. And the actual box itself is very, very nice and the packaging the keyboard and mouse came in was very, very nice as well. It shows that Cooler Master, even though you're only paying £30 for a product, they do actually still care about the customers and they have done a very good job here. As you can see on the box you do have a picture of the mouse, the keyboard and it also tells you that the keyboard and mouse are LED backlit as well. And also just a quick note to those who are wondering, this keyboard does feature an English UK keyboard layout as well. So moving along to the right hand side of the box you can see you've got the actual branding which does look in my opinion very very nice indeed especially considering that this is a £30 product. Moving along to the top of the box you can see you've just got a link to the Cooler Master website there where you can get more information on the product. Over on the left hand side of the box you can actually see it is compatible with Windows 8 and next to that you do get a sticker showing what operating systems this keyboard is compatible with. Under that you get your barcode and above all that you do get more branding. Moving along to the back of the box it does actually give you more information on the specs and the actual features of the keyboard and mouse which comes with it. Now the mouse is an MS2K by Cooler Master and as you can see on the box the features of the MS2K are as follows the ergonomic ultra flat mouse body, the 1000, 1600 and 2000 DPI modes, the large high precision mouse wheel and solid rubber side pads for ultimate stability. The Cooler Master MB24 which is the keyboard also features a custom membrane design which is more durable and improved tactile feedback also features an ergonomic ultra low profile design an ultra durable laser etched and grip coated keycaps anti-slide rubber pads on the bottom dedicated multimedia keys and led backlit as well with the shortcut being the scroll lock button so taking a look at the keyboard outside of its box and all plugged into the computer you can see the LEDs actually make a really really nice touch on the keyboard and the actual overall aesthetic look of the keyboard is very very nice indeed at least it is in my opinion. Up on the top of the keyboard on the left hand side you can see you have your dedicated media keys which have the following functions a stop button, pause and play button, a previous button and the next button. Over on the right hand side you can also see that you have a volume up button and a volume down button and that just basically controls the overall volume in Windows. Unfortunately with this keyboard being that of a cheaper model it doesn't actually include any macro uh, buttons on the keyboard which is a shame but then again you can kind of understand because it is a cheaper product. So taking a closer look at the mouse you can see it's got the CM Storm logo there on the left button it's also got a really cool blue lit scroll wheel and also a little design on the top rear of the mouse. Taking a look at the top of the mouse you can see it's actually quite plain apart from the obvious big blue LED scroll wheel DPI button and a little design on the back and also not to forget the CM Storm logo on the left. Taking a look at the rear of the mouse that you can see it's got lots of tiny little holes and the design itself actually looks really cool and futuristic. I actually really like the look of this mouse. So at the bottom of the mouse you can see we've got the Devastator and the Cooler Master logo there. The actual kind of pads which allow it to smoothly operate on your desk and the optical sensor which supports 1000 dpi, 1600 dpi and 2000 dpi. On the topic of dpi you can also see on the top of the mouse you do actually have a dedicated button which allows you to select all the kinds of dpi on the fly. This is really useful if you're a gamer because you don't actually have to adjust it using software you can just do it at the push of a button. Also it is worth mentioning on the left hand side of the mouse you do have a forward and back button for use in browsers and also you can change these buttons to do anything you like in the game that you're playing. Again taking another look at the keyboard you can see you've got the CM Storm branding on the top there and the actual noise of the keys isn't too bad although it does make quite a racket when you type fast although mostly using this keyboard you'll probably be gaming during gaming it isn't too bad at all. Considering the price of this keyboard the keys do actually feel really nice and are very responsive on screen. I think this keyboard does actually feel like a more expensive keyboard however I've yet to use a mechanical keyboard so that in the future may change. So as you can see I've now got a game running on the computer with the keyboard and mouse hooked up. The game is Advanced Warfare for those of you who are wondering and as you can see in a gaming situation the keyboard and mouse pretty much cannot be heard at all. So I'm going to cut the music off now and let you enjoy this short clip of me gaming with the keyboard and mouse so you can get an idea of what it is like in that kind of situation.
So having looked at the keyboard and mouse, I'm going to go through some pros right now. The first pro being, at this price, the keyboard is backlit. Now at this price, not many uh, good kind of gaming keyboards are all backlit, so it is nice to have that feature, and I do thank Coolmaster for adding that feature. Again, another pro is that this keyboard is cheap. Coming in at only £30, it is a lot cheaper than a lot of other gaming keyboards on the market, and it performs just as well in my opinion. Another pro of this keyboard is that it has dedicated media keys, meaning that you can pause and play and adjust the volume right from your keyboard, which is really helpful, especially if you're a gamer, meaning you don't have to exit your game to adjust things such as volume. The last thing worth noting as well is that the keys on the keyboard feel very very nice and they are very responsive on screen. As does the mouse, the sensor is very very responsive and any slight movements appear instantly on screen. Now with any product there are always cons, so here I'm just going to list a few cons which I found using this keyboard and mouse set. So a con of this keyboard and mouse is that the mouse scroll wheel actually squeaks sometimes when using it. It can get very irritating, although it hasn't been doing it much recently. Another con of this keyboard is that it doesn't feature any macro keys. Now at this price point I wouldn't expect it to feature any macro keys, but it would have been nice to have macro keys anyway. Another con of this keyboard is that it is not mechanical. Now you can't complain because of the price point, but it would have been nice again if it was mechanical. Another con of this keyboard is that the anti-slip pads on the bottom of the keypad come off. Now with mine I found mine on the floor and in various different places around my room and it is really annoying but luckily I don't need them as much as my keyboard tends to stay still anyway. And the last con of this keyboard is that it doesn't feature any kind of USB hub. Now with some keyboards now they do actually feature one or two USB ports on the side of the keyboard for charging devices, plugging devices in etc etc so it would be nice if Coolmaster was to feature that. So guys, this has been my CM Storm Devastator keyboard review. This keyboard is a solid 7 out of 10. It's definitely worth a buy if you are looking for a gaming keyboard. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.